Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, again, this is Baron with Social Media and Marketing LLC.com. And um, what I'm going to cover in this tutorial is really um, the purpose of your website and making sure that you're able to maximize that relevant to a search engine. Um, the big problem that I find when I'm looking at a, a client's website or we're doing anything is that uh, they don't have any tracking, right? They have no tracking, um, they don't have an end goal in mind, there's no means to an end. Uh, they, they tend to make the, um, and this is just because, you know, everything's changing, technology is changing so fast, but it tends to be the common practice that all I need is a website and I'm okay to go, uh, when in fact that's not actually the case. Uh, you can you need to track how many people are visiting your site. You need to find out where they're coming from. You need to find out um, how long they're staying on your site, where they're going on your site, and what they're doing, and creating an end action, which is uh, which you can call a conversion, meaning they request more information, they opt in, they request a quote, they make a purchase. And you can build these little funnels, these little conversion funnels that <clears throat> allow you to gauge and change what you're doing to improve that. And I, I, I say this when, I, when I'm working with someone, but to give you an idea, right? So you have a piece of paper. Let's just say it's a perfect cylinder, okay? Now this would be, if you had someone coming in through one end as a referral or wherever they came in from and out the end, as the other end they came out a customer, right? So if you were in a networking group and people like BNI, right, Business Networking International, they work to help each other with their business by passing referrals, quality referrals to, uh, to you for your business. So they pass your referral, well the likelihood that that referral closes for business is gonna be very likely. So, you know, out of so many number of referrals that come in one end, you might get X amount of number of them that turn into closed business for you and your business, right? Well, the internet, a lot of businesses don't understand that the internet <coughs> can be like this if you're not careful, right? You have a huge funnel on one end here. At the very end, you have almost nothing coming out at all, right? And the reason being is that a lot of these businesses, if they don't have tracking or they don't understand the purpose of their website and people are just visiting and leaving, um, like they don't have a call to action or whatever, then you have, you have a funnel like this. Well, with these tools that I'm gonna talk about, you're gonna be able to change that um, to be, I mean, this funnel not properly representing whatever, but you want it to get, you know, to be somewhere where it, like this, okay? So that if funnel's coming in, you're getting a certain amount of that and do converted customers. Obviously, ideally, you want every single person that visits your website to turn into a customer, but, um, I mean that I haven't I've never known that to happen um, you can get as high as 40 to 60 percent uh, with video and different types of campaigns but a hundred percent conversion for every single person that visits your site is uh, is unheard of anyways what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over some tools and they're free right so these tools are free and you can use them with your website to track everything Google provides free tools Bing provides free tools and um, the, it's just understanding what they are and what they do and how to use them. I'm not going to go into how to use them exactly. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about them and um, pretty much how they will benefit your site. Okay, so here we're at google.com forward slash webmasters. And, um, oh, good old mouse, trusty mouse. All right, so anyways... You can sign in here, you can create your little account, uh, it's all free of charge, but this will basically tell you how Google sees your site, you can analyze your search data, you can receive alerts when, um, if there's anything wrong, like any type of spam or anything malware that might be with going into your site. You can find out who's linking to your website, and you can um, talk to Google on a personal level, right? So, more, okay, when I mean talk to them on a personal level, I mean, they can look at everything for you and say, okay, well, this is where you're kind of screwed up. These are the things that are working that you're using, and these are the things that you might not really need on your website that you can take out to maximize the amount of business you're getting, right? So um, 
I don't want to go into too much details, but it's just, you know, they have videos and they have everything that explains it on here. I just want to show you that this is something that you need to really understand or at least have someone work with you to use this, this uh, program, this tool. And then we have Website Optimizer, right? Website op Optimizer, what that allows you to do is you can actually test different types of pages. Um, so for example, you have someone that does a search for XYZ business, okay? And uh, 1,000 people visit your XYZ business from Google. Well, they normally would see one page that they, and it's called a landing page, right? So they see that one page and it's built a certain way. Well, with Website Optimizer, you can actually run two different pages for them to land on. So one version might have a box here, another box here, and then one big box down here. And then you can run another one with, uh, on the same page that people will see that instead of the two boxes and the big box, there, there might be an arrow with a direct call to action and you know the box down below. So you're allowed to run different campaigns that people will find from the internet and land on, and then you can track which one actually leads to a higher conversion rate. Okay, which one creates more calls to action or gets more people to opt in or subscribe or gets more people to buy um, or whatever, right? So with the website optimizer, you can actually track all of those results and make improvements to your website over time to increase your conversion rate to make that funnel open up on the, on the customer and more, right? Um, and this is something that I go over with clients to help them understand this is what you need to do because if you don't know what you're doing with your website, you're not, you don't have any conversions or you're not tracking any of that, then you're, um, you know, you, the purpose of your website is failing. And another tool is the same. Is, uh, it's called Bing, the Bing Webmaster Tool. And um, it does the same thing. It gives you SEO tips, um, guidelines, FAQs, how-to guides, all that. And you go through that and you can learn and make sure and ensure that Bing is reading your website well, um, that, you know, same with Google and so forth. Another free tool that um, businesses need to use and that we talk about uh, when I sit down with my clients is it's called the Google Analytics tool. And again, that's free. And... I'm gonna to go to that site, and from there, <clears throat> you, you can track where the visitors are coming from, if they came from a search engine, if they came from, what search engine they came from, if they came from another website, uh, you can track how long they're on your website, if they're leaving right away, um, you can track words, the words that they're searching for in a search engine when they go to your site. Right, and you can set it up for all different websites. You can, if you have multiple websites that you're doing, you can, you can track all that. You can find out the percentage of the change in traffic. Um, if, you, if you're blogging on your site, you can find out how many people are visiting your site from some words that they found on your blog. Um, so this is one example, um, and this is a, you know, it's a simple blog site, or it's a simple uh, website. But you know, okay, so 63% um, is a 63% bounce rate. Uh, percentage of new visits is 63%. Uh, the pages they view per visit is 2.39. The total number of page views is 190. There was a total of 80 visits, and then you scroll down and you can see, okay. Um, this is an, this is the percentage of the referring sites. This is actual direct traffic, people typing in the website itself. And this is results coming out from search engines, right? Um, then you can go over here and you have, you can check out your visitors. Um, and you know, you can go through all this. This is, you know, there's a lot of information that they give you. The most important one initially is understanding your traffic sources. 
right? Um, when you click on traffic sources, you get an overview. You can get referring sites, search engines, all traffic sources, whatever. You scroll down here and you can check, okay, how many people actually typed in my website or whatever website directly in the URL? How many people came from XYZ source, Facebook, on a, you know, on a uh, mobile phone on your Facebook, uh, another service, and then uh, and this is a it's a whole world inside Google Analytics, but you can do keywords. Let's actually let's go search engines. You can do search engines, and then you can see okay, uh, they came from two two visits came from Google. And then you click on that, and then it'll say, okay, they typed in, what did they type in? They typed in this, and that's how they were able to get to the site. But ultimately, you have to think about it, is like, if you have a website, you don't even know what's happening. You have blinders on. Well, once you install analytics on your site, um, you're opening the blinders like halfway. Uh, then once you get your website optimizer and your webmaster tools, then you're completely, you're opened up to your maximum potential on your website. Okay, that's a really weird way to think of it. But if you don't know who's visiting your website and where they're coming from or what they're doing, uh, it's, it's crippling your business for as far as your website goes. If you're getting business, that's great, and you're getting traffic, that's awesome, but you really need to understand what the heck they're doing, why they're coming there, where they're coming from, and how you can maximize that percent, the, the percentage of people that visit to the people that actually turn into customers or quotes request of quotes or request for more information or email opt-in or, or whatever. And you're able to tweak all of that with these tools. Um, I didn't want to go into too much detail only because you could go in, you could spend a day on each of these tools. Um, it's just, it's really important as a business to understand that these are things that are really going to help you. And you should be talking to your website person about these tools um, and make sure that they're using these if they can uh, or if they're willing, um, which they should be to make sure that you're getting the best out of your website. Again, this is Baron with Social Media and Marketing LLC. Uh, thanks for your time. On the next video, I'll talk to, I will go over AdWords. I, I can cover, I can go over AdWords, which is advertising on Google um, and how that works. All right, so I guess I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Thanks a lot.